continuing our discussion today with Dr. Larry Visser about God's call, God's work in his life, and his Dr. Visser's work here at LaGrave. So the, the um, title kind of helps that focus and the, the purpose of what you're doing. on, And it re, it's like a daily reminder almost. It certainly does, yes. And yes, musicians practice long and hard hours perfecting their craft, mm -hmm. right? It's what yes. we do. Um, but it's not about perfection. Uh, yes, God wants us to develop uh, our skills and, and strive for excellence, uh, which I try to do. But always keeping in mind the focus is not on me. I, I joke uh, with people about being hidden behind the rare dose. Except and for Larry Cam. I, 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 <laughs> true. But I, I've always appreciated that, yeah. uh, that the focus is not on, on me mm -hmm. uh, as a person. It's not about me. It's uh, the focus should always be on God and, and giving him glory yeah. through the gifts that he's given me. So yeah. um, again, it's, it's not, we're not first and foremost, foremost performers, uh, we're servants. Yeah. And I, I think that's very important. Music, um, I also wanted to stress that music is, is uh, very powerful. It speaks differently um, in the worship context. Uh, it speaks differently than the spoken word. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And I think a reason for that is, is music has power to move our emotions. Yes. Um, people come through these doors on a weekly basis uh, to worship, over 1,500 people probably on a Sunday. And they all come with very different circumstances and feeling different emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, some people come with joyful, celebrative uh, hearts, um, celebrating a life going well, um, a job they love, um, maybe a recent baby was born in their family or a wedding. Um, others come with, with wounded, heavy hearts, mm -hmm. uh, having lost a loved one. Uh, a job loss, uh, a recent health uh, um, diagnosis that's severe, um, a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. And I view my role as a minister of music to meet each person in the pew, mm. no matter what their circumstances. Yeah, music really allows you to do that. It does. That's my goal. It's a high calling, I think, and it's difficult to do. Um, uh, so how do I do that? Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that was the uh, next question I was going to so ask. So it, it means playing a variety of music, first of all, to meet all of those different uh, yes, uh, emotions that people are, are feeling um, and their circumstances. Um, so that's important. Um, sometimes it means putting your own musical interests second. Yes. and thinking about what is going to minister to the people in the pew. I'll give you an example. Um, funeral services. Mm -hmm. I'm often requested to play specific music, yes. uh, hymns particularly, that were beloved of the deceased person. Mm -hmm. And they may not be my favorite hymns yeah. uh, or things I would choose to play, but a minister of music, I think, puts that aside and says, this meant a lot to this person and the family, and when they hear it played, that's a way that I can minister mm -hmm. to a grieving family. Yep. So that's just one example. And, I think. You, and you play it well, you don't just kind of go through the motions, you right. make sure that it's done right. well. Exactly, that's important too. Um, so those are some ways that, that I think you, you can be a minister uh, rather than just a, a director of music. Um, a couple of other things. Um, as a minister of music, I think you should never just choose music for its own sake. Oh, okay. The result is it becomes a performance uh, if you do that, if you just select all of your favorite music to play. Um, instead, I think a minister of music should always be thinking about how can music support the word, mm -hmm. the scripture. Of course, in our Reformed tradition, the word is central. Yes. And uh, that should always be first and foremost in a minister of music's mind when they're planning a worship service, okay. whether yeah. that be organ music, uh, choral music, hymns that the congregation sings. And at LaGrave, that's easy to do because <laughs> our format of worship is very liturgical, it's very thematic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Everything centers around a specific theme which is brought out through the scripture passage mm -hmm. and the sermon. Mm -hmm. So the organ music, the introit, the anthem, 
the congregational hymns, the spoken liturgy. Uh, we strive to have all of those elements in worship um, tie in with and support yeah. the word. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's a little direction too that I think a minister of music should be thinking. Not just choosing favorite organ music, um, but thinking of, of hymns that will tie in and, and bringing out the themes of, of the sermon. Yeah, taking that the education, the vast knowledge that you possess of music and, and knowing exactly. where, you know, where, the, I mean, just know, being able to know like, oh, well, this particular style of music mm -hmm. isn't going to fit the mood you're trying, that this particular scripture is emoting. Exactly. Is super right. beneficial. Right. And knowing your hymn texts well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in some sense, the Bible, of course, is, is my go-to. Uh, <laughs> but the, the hymn book, um, almost equal, equally as important, yep. I think, knowing those texts, of, uh, which can serve as devotional texts mm -hmm. too, right? And, um, and knowing those, those hymn texts, um, it's funny when I plan worship, a phrase will pop in my mind from, okay. from a certain hymn. Oh. And uh, uh, it's, it's so important to know your hymnal know your well. Hymns so too. You, can, you can pair everything well together. That's right, that's right. And lastly, the, the last thing I'd like to share um, is how important it is to know your congregation. Mm. Okay. Um, you hear that to, as a... As a Pastor, yes, but. but as a musician, as any church staff member, it's important. Um, I'll never forget um, an interview with uh, the late Paul Mons, a uh, legendary church musician, organist, mm -hmm. improviser. Um, he was asked what is one of the fundamental principles of being a church musician. Mm -hmm. And I will never forget his answer. It was very simple. Three words. Love your congregation. Huh. If you know them and come to love them, you can minister more effectively to them. And that stuck with me for yeah. so many years. Especially coming um, from the music world. So important, yes. Um, any minister, whether it be outreach, youth, discipleship, preaching, music, needs to know their congregation. Mm -hmm. Um, know their joys, their sorrows, their challenges, their strengths, um, and you can effectively minister to them mm -hmm. in the pew. Um, we're a family here, as any church is. We're the body of Christ, and we see each other maybe once or twice a week yep. in worship. Um, it is so important to get to know them in worship, who you're worshiping with, but also outside of worship. Mm -hmm. Um, I get to know people very well as they stop in and out during the week when they come for various meetings um, and I have conversations with them. Um, it's, it's so important to do that. Um, often I'm very busy on Sundays and I don't get a, a lot of chance to talk to people, but um, I found that uh, uh, richness comes in getting to know people um, inside and, and outside of worship both. So those are some of the things that I think of when I think of my title being Minister mm -hmm. of Music yeah. as opposed to a Director oh. of Music.